It's Toby from Heavyweight MMA, Stand Up Malaki Army. Jamie's over in Rio, ready to rock and roll. How are you, bro? Yeah, good, man. Good. Just uh, settled in here nice. So we're a couple of days out. Um, it's Wednesday here and we're, we're looking looking good. Looking, feeling, feeling good. So, bro, at this time, like a few days before the fight, exactly how do you how do you maintain yourself? What do you do? Man, it's pretty chill to be honest. We're just uh, just typical fight week, like just chilling out, hanging out, uh, getting a, a session in a day, and um, we're gonna go look at some cool stuff today. I think we're gonna go uh, go do a like a little little tour and um, yeah, just 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 pass the time and uh, keep keep uh, keep away from the food. <laughs> Bro, it's not the only thing you got to keep away. Don't get distracted, bro. There's a lot of booty over there. <laughs> yeah, mate. It's, it's the place. It's the place for the booty. <laughs> that's it. That's it, man. Hey, on the training side, bro, do you, like at this point, are you just like keeping the reflexes up, hitting some pads, doing some light moving around, that sort of thing? Yeah, pretty much. The, like the hard work's done now, so <clears throat> there's no more uh, grueling sessions um, and we're just keeping everything on point. Uh, real, real fight specific, you know. No worries. And who, who you got with your crew, bro, over there? Uh just Noah, no, no, Magnus, first, first coach. Uh, he made it over for the trip this time, so uh, it's just like old times. Nice, nice. That'll be cool, man. Hey, so how does it feel to be in Brazil, bro? Like it's a big show. You got Stephen Erseg fighting Pantoja over there, and you're the you're the backup to him, bro. You got the two boys from Australia fighting over there. It's kind of exciting, hey. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. It's cool having another uh, fellow Aussie over here, and we've bumped into each other a couple of times. And um, yeah, he's he's fucking cool, calm, and collected, man. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see him go and do work. Um, I think he's got the ability to do it. I think we we I've, I've got a good feeling that we're both gonna come away with the wins. To be honest, um, nice, I don't know something about it. Something about the the feelings that that, that I got. Um, and yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. Man, you're you're a bit of a veteran. You've been you're fighting for a while. Steven's got some certain amount of composure for someone who's only had a couple or three fights in the UFC, right? Yeah, and like you, you'd have to 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 take a, a UFC title fight on your fourth fourth UFC fight. Um, is it his fourth fight? I think it's, I think his, it's fourth. his fourth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's that's pretty special, man. So he obviously backed himself he obviously has that confidence and um you can you can see it pouring out of him at the moment yeah that's it bro and on to your guy mauricio ruffy uh fighting him obviously this weekend the 4th of may rio brazil uh how do you feel about him as an opponent bro yeah good opponent man good opponent um like sort of obviously going to be hungry and and dangerous so we're, we're we know what we've got to look out for um Good striker, but pretty pretty well rounded. He comes from a good gym, so uh, I think that weathering that that first storm with him will be important. And then um, just just using my experience, you know, uh, I think it's going to be a cracker fight. Though I'm not expecting an easy fight, uh, but I'm I'm expecting to do well. I, I'm just confident about this one. I hope you. I hope you've been practicing awareness of those spinning hook kicks, bro. He throws them up beautifully. He must have done a bit of uh, capoeira in his day, right? Yeah, yeah. He likes the spins. He likes the. He's, he's very dynamic, very explosive. So that you got to just be aware with the, with guys like that. That's it, man. And um, and when you watch him too, like from his history. Is that he likes to put the pressure, and he's he's the most dangerous when he's setting the pace and he's moving forward. Eh? So I imagine you be trying to disrupt that that movement a bit, right? You don't want to always be on the back foot with this guy because that's when he's the most dangerous, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just uh, picking my moments is going to be important in this fight, um, and yeah, def- for, for sure, setting the pace uh, of, of where I want to take the fight and um, and dictating. How, how do you feel this stage in your career, bro? Like, had a couple of losses, had some good wins as well along the way. How do you feel? Like, how do you feel you fit and how do you feel about yourself as a fighter? Man, I, f- I feel great. Like, it's just the, it's, it's the fight journey and I'm, I'm learning along the way, you know. Uh, like you said, the wins, the losses, it's all uh, gaining so much knowledge 
learning about myself. Um, and yeah, this, this this camp's been a been a cracker, bro. Uh, honestly, it's it's been a really good camp that I've I've honestly leveled up in. So I'm uh, I'm feeling on and uh, just looking forward to going out there. Um, and it feels good to be excited to fight again. Um, I think last year having three fights in six months it was a lot. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know until I was in it. Um, just going back into another camp, the third third camp in like five months, it was just like uh, uh, you got you got to take those opportunities and, and fucking go for it while you can. But um, I just didn't feel as excited to fight. I didn't feel like I was showing up to the apex against a fucking dangerous opponent. And it's at this level, you just can't. Uh, I don't think you can do that. I think um, you've got to be recovered. Uh, physically but more so mentally um so yeah that was a little bit of a lesson in itself um so i've had five months between fights now and uh i feel really good i feel rejuvenated and uh ready to go out there and put on a put on a performance yeah that's awesome man it's a difficult game man like do you do you take which path like do you take that path of taking your chance and, you know, pushing your body a bit further than you need to at the time just because that's the opportunity that's there? Or do you sit back and wait and hope that you get the right fight when it comes and everything? Like, I think I think it's best to do it when you can, bro, like you said, because you never know what's around the corner, you know what I mean? you got to take the fight sometimes, yeah? Yeah, bro, it's, it's such a cruel sport too. Like, it's such a cruel sport. Um, if you don't show up, you, 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 you're you going to fall short. And... Um, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> no one, no one cares about you, uh, and you're <laughs> only as good as your last fight in this in this game. So that's the last thing people remember. But um, yeah. yeah, it's just about uh, yeah, learning about yourself as well. Uh, learning about the, the timing of things. Is it the right decision? Like maybe yeah. I can, but is it the right call? Is it is it going to be the right call for me? Um, so it's good to to get this. Uh, these lessons under my belt when I'm, I'm still hitting my peak as well. Yeah, man. And, and now this, like you said, you're pumped for this fight. You have a, had a good training camp. You're fighting a very exciting guy that'll wake you up in the morning to get to the gym, right? And now, and you're in Brazil, man. Do you have any, do you have any special feelings for fighting in Brazil? Like, obviously, oh, the home of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, lots of famous fighters from there. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to go, right? Heaps, bro. Heaps. That's what, the, it's so exciting to be here to bring my first coach that I've ever uh, been to, been taught by and he, he cornered me and coached me for m- most of my career, like more than half my pro fights, all my amateur fights. So to be in such a rich fighting culture in Brazil, sharing a card with Jose Aldo, it's, it's really special, man. And um, I'm just looking forward to going out there and uh, making the most of it and silence this crowd, hopefully. Yeah, that's that's the interesting thing. They're a passionate crowd, man, and you're fighting a Brazilian, just like Australia, right? Like the the fight in Australia in Sydney, like everyone was just giving so much shit to the fighters. Now it's time for you to cop some shit, right? <laughs> yeah, man, I love it. I love it because I'm uh, exactly right. I'm on the other side of the fence now, um, going into that hostile territory, that enemy territory, and I'm I'm pretty fucking excited um, just to just to, to silence everyone. Go in there and take this. How's how's their reception generally over there, bro? They're pretty friendly. Yeah, yeah, man. Everyone, everyone's friendly. Uh, like people are nice. The weather's good. It's a it's a good place. It's a, it's a really I, good place. But we're not we're not forgetting why we're here. <laughs> was it? I can't remember whose post I saw. It was either you or or Stephen. I saw something like right next to the beach. Are you on that beachy sort of area. Yeah, yeah. The hotel's right on the beach. It's uh, it's it's beautiful, man. It's really nice. Awesome, awesome, man. So finally, bro, do you have any sort of idea about how the fight's going to go down? Any idea of a prediction or you don't want to talk about that? No, nah, no, nah, I don't. Like, I don't have a prediction. Um, I know it's going to be a tough fight. That's that's it. And um, let's just show up and do the damn thing. Yeah, awesome, bro. Looking forward to it, man. Uh, it's great to see a Coasty traveling around the world, fighting the best people in the world, man. We're all proud of you. So, yeah, do a good job, man. Represent us proud, and, and we'll all be happy, bro. I can't wait to watch you fight. Yeah, legend, Toby. I appreciate it, bro. Cool. Best of luck, bro. Have a great fight. Thanks, man. See you, man.